If you've been investigating metal casting, you've probably seen people cast ingots. These ingots were cast in a mini muffin tin. Uh, it's a very convenient way to keep your metal. It's also a very convenient way to know how much metal you have. You can see this. Uh, it's very odd shaped. It's uh, this is the scrap we melted to make ingots and you could see it's very hard to judge how much metal you have and plus you have to try to fit all of that in the crucible which might be a problem so it's best to make ingots first before you try to cast any uh, actual castings this scrap is zinc you can identify zinc because it's uh, usually die cast and because it ages to this gunmetal gray color and it's a really good metal to use it melts lower temperature than aluminum it's heavier and uh, it doesn't shrink very much when you cast it which can be really nice here I am loading up my little charcoal smelter um, if you're interested in this smelter, there's a link in the description. Uh, what we're basically trying to do here is usually you put something flat or maybe you even use an ingot that you've made in the past. And you put it in the bottom of the crucible because you want to get a puddle going of metal and then the odd shaped pieces will, uh, will melt down into it. So that's your goal when loading the, the crucible. Here I am adding more metal to the crucible. Because of the odd shapes of the scrap pieces of metal, you'll have to add more as it melts down. And, uh, so that's what I'm doing. So here I am casting the ingots. There's a lot of slush on the top of the metal there. Uh, that's aluminum. Some of the metal I melted was a mixture of aluminum and zinc. And I raised it to a temperature where the zinc would melt, uh, but not the aluminum. And uh, that kind of created a mess right there. Now this time I've skimmed off some of that aluminum and so I can pour out just the zinc like that. Uh, there's still aluminum in it dissolved in the mixture, but it's going to behave pretty much like pure zinc. Now these are the finished product, the ingots. Um, that's a zinc ingot. Uh, they haven't they haven't got that gunmetal gray color yet. Uh, they have to age to that. These are newly cast. This is aluminum over here. You can see how similar it looks. Um, but it's very light. You can tell by picking it up that you're dealing with aluminum. And, uh, well, that's about all there is to know about ingot casting. Thank you for watching.